that's why I'm happy to share with you my homemade cough syrup um, recipe today. The recipe is made with ingredients that have natural antibiotic properties. And trust me, I have shared this recipe with over 500 moms and all have been getting have been good feedback. And also, most importantly, I tried it for, I mean, this is what I use for Jaden and Joanne, so I don't even have to worry. The moment I just see a sign of cough, like, mommy, uh, uh, no, 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 just wait. going to do is I'm going to grate the onions so I'm going to be using two onions grating All right the next is garlic and the next recipe is ginger Are painful but then again I mean this is not compared to having a child cough all night trust me I mean I could say this is one of the sacrifices of moms because sometimes you buy all of the drugs and they don't work so I'll just rest a bit and continue we have the ginger garlic and onions in here now the reason I'm grating them is to give this very not so like slicey kind of um, feel and not so completely grindy you know or completely smooth you know uh, feel I just want to have you know that some bits in it and that's why I'm choosing to grate it if you have a food processor that you know can do this have you know give this exact same um, effect for you feel free to use it now that I have this I just mix and now the next thing I'm going to do is add some lemon juice natural antibiotics and it's rich in vitamin C and the good thing with vitamin C it, it helps you know the body to absorb iron which is a very very important brain building you know macronutrients for children so this is like a completely balanced perfect homemade recipe you can also use the green lemons you know I didn't find the green lemons when I went to the store so I just bought the yellow ones the next thing to do Take it out from the grater, pour in the lemon juice, lemon juice. The last but not the least ingredient is honey, pour in the honey, the honey. The honey. mix together. Very good mix. Very good mix. And here you go. But then to complete the process of my homemade cough syrup, I do two things. I either cover this with a cling film and let it sit overnight. Or if it's very urgent, if the cough is really a terrible one, maybe you return from work and you find those kids coughing really terribly, you can just pop this into the microwave, cover it up and heat it up for about three minutes. Or you put on the heat, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show to you how I put it on 
a very low heat and it bubbles up for two minutes and then we're done. I said before you have two options, you can either pop this into the microwave if you don't have access to a stove top or you just let it sit overnight or if it's really very urgent, if the cough is really, really, you know, terrible or needs attention, all you just need to do is this. Pop it onto the heat and let it bubble up for about two to three minutes and that's it. I know sometimes, you know, cough eh? Before you know it, all the kids are coughing. Everybody is coughing. Like, you know, you don't want, you know, the cough to infect the other person. So let everybody have a taste of this. Everybody in the house, let everybody have a taste of this. The moment one of you is having a cough, no, I just say, you know what, everybody, can you gather here? Mommy has something for you. Ensure that everybody has a taste of this. Now, it's uh, ready. All right, so this is what it looks like after bubbling for two to three minutes on the heat or in the microwave so i i know kids you know and they are questioning mommy what's this what's this about just say it's your medicine or it's your drugs and it's good for you to help you stop this cough this cold or this fever now this is not a medication or this is not a limitation for you not to take your child to the hospital if the cough persists. I need to mention this caveat. So don't say, oh, I said you should keep the cough for longer, you know, than you know, longer than necessary. If within two to three days this cough persists, you need to take your child to the hospital. This is meant to sort of prevent or maybe when you know the child is already having the signs of cough and kata you know how you know the cold everything just comes together and then they get so helpless and you know just coughing so deeply you might want to give this a try as you know such you know something like a first aid but if it persists please 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 run to the hospital for a checkup. I've shared this recipe with over 500 moms and the feedback has been amazing. If you've not subscribed to this channel, this is the best time for you to do so because you don't want to miss any of the recipes and the tips that I share on this platform. Please click on the red button below.